Jordan, what's going on? Hey. I haven't seen you since graduation. How you been? I've been great. I got a new job, you know, just living life. You know how I do. I know how you do. <laughs> How's everything with you, though? Um, you look like you're, you're going through it. Yeah. Um, honestly, I feel like I have the weight of the world on my shoulders, and I don't know. I, I definitely need an outlet. Um, I heard there was an open mic here. Yeah, it's right here. I just came from there. Um, no one's there, though, so I'll probably just come back later. All right. Um, I'm gonna check it out. Good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Hey, what's going on, man? What's good, brother? How you doing? I'm good. Is this uh, an open mic? Yep, right here, right here. Um, I'm the host, Will Vines. Uh, you're the first one here, so uh, no one else is really here yet. Uh, but Jace is over there just rehearsing on his keys for later, so, you know, stick around. All right. Um, look, man, you mind if I get something off my chest? Not at all, brother. What do you think? Appreciate you, man. Thank time. you. When I think about my life and how far I've come, I think about the Lord's thy will be done, which makes me feel impeccable and makes me feel incredible. Life is nothing but choices redefined by the inevitable. As a young man trying to follow the Lord's path, honoring him with my life, yet sticking out like a giraffe in a world full of lions, some disguised as pussycats. You see, I've gotten so mad over the past few years because I couldn't share a bed with the one I hold dear. I couldn't travel far with the one I hold dear. I couldn't even make love with the one I hold dear. All for what? Listen up. I'm just doing what I do best as I feel the need to ease stress on my hands and knees daily asking God to stop the press. I told myself, in order to experience something I've never had, I have to do something I've never done. Like really check my heart and fully acknowledge I'm God's son. I told my lady that as a man, this part is real hard, but I know his purpose will never do us any harm. So I said, it's time to be celibate until the day we wed. So once it's official, we can do it anywhere and everywhere with or without a bed. Showing the world that knowing your lover before you become lovers is how you create a bond greater than no other because you put the time in to make love to the mind instead of lying, trying to find the next thing but deep inside you crying. But as for me and my house, I promised I would love her before I ever touched her, even in the slightest way, which became a major way, because life without her is like the sun when it fades away. So I guess I'm thankful for the struggle and how it made me who I am today. I know I'm greater than I've ever been, because the good Lord, he made a way. Thank you for that, man. I hope tonight's a great success. Man, thank you, man. Thank you. No doubt. Like, your whole vibe is different. You know, I feel like a totally different person. So I was outside, and I heard someone was in here pouring their heart out. Do you know who that was? I do. 
You know, I actually saw him come in. He looked pretty crazy. But when I heard this guy speak, it was like, it was like he was pouring his heart out and I could relate to everything he said. Almost like we were one and the same. Yeah. Well, look, Jay, it was really nice seeing you. Take care of yourself, right? You too. This one's for the young kings. I'm something like a young Paul Robeson, you dig? Ha! Don't take for granted the life in your body. Don't take for granted the lights in your sight, G. It's crazy living life in a world so cold. I find it real odd, everyone is so bold. On the wrong side of life in a chokehold. So every time you 